Hi, I'm Drew with UCLA Recreation and Quixotic Racing. This next drill is going to be with the snorkel, and it's going to be side-to-side -side drill. Okay, so I'm going to start by just kicking on my stomach. My arms are going to be at my side. And then you're going to notice that I'm in neutral alignment, so those body parts are exposed as we discussed before. Back of your head, shoulder blades, butt, and then the soles of your feet. What I'm going to do is then I'm going to rotate to one side. Keeping my head still, it's going to be looking straight down. So the snorkel should remain perpendicular to the surface of the water the whole time. Then I'm going to go back to my stomach and then rotate to the other side. Again, keeping my head still. What this is a great practice for is body roll. Okay, so we have a body rotation when you swim. This is a great introductory drill to try it. So check it out, see if you like it. Child labor, please. Thank you. Okay, so what we have here is we're going to have side to side drill with the snorkel. I'm kicking on my stomach, head is looking down, then I rotate. So now my right shoulder is out of the water. Then I go back to that neutral position, a nice alignment with my head down, and then I rotate where my left shoulder is out of the water. Also notice that the snorkel is not moving. The snorkel is completely perpendicular to the surface of the water. So my whole body is rotating around that axis. That's what you want to focus on when you're swimming. You want your body to rotate around your head. Okay, your head is in a fixed position unless you're turning it to inhale and you want your body to be able to move through that without having your head to kind of adjust. Sometimes people will find that you know as they start to roll their body, their head starts to roll with them. And then that ends up causing a lot of problems with the lower body and increases drag most of the time. So then here's an underwater shot of Rada Owen, 2000 Olympian. And you can see that on her rotation, she's pretty much at about 45 degrees to each side. So again, individual differences. Some people will rotate a lot. Natalie Coughlin uh, rotates about 90 degrees. Um, you know, whereas you may see Phelps, he rotates really to the side that he breathes to, and the other side he's relatively flat. Um, so it's really experiment around with it. Find out what works for you and then assess whether you know a lot of rotation is good for you or minimal rotation is good. Here's another example of someone swimming and you can see he has a fair amount of rotation especially through that shoulder girdle. The best thing to do is watch people swim, emulate them, see if it works for you. Test sets and test sets and test sets. That's the best way to find out what works for you. Don't just take someone's word for it, especially mine. Learn for yourself.